Alright, so I want to update you guys on what I've been doing lately. Um, previous video, I had a circuit that lid motor and tin man had been uh, put together requiring two different transistors and I had successfully got it to run this three-phase motor off of a VCR and now I've upgraded the circuit just a little bit to where it'll run a much larger motor. Same thing, it's a three-phase motor but it's off of a washing machine similar to what Gerard Morgan is trying to do. Um, he's using advanced circuitry and this is just a simple two little diodes <clears throat> or two little transistors, two resistors and one diode for capturing the flyback effect. Um, here's the circuit originally designed by lid motor and stepper motor circuit. And you can see the transistors are low, low powered. Um, the neon bulb is there just designed to protect the transistor from uh, this back EMF spike from blowing it up. And they were just running stepper motors. Um, and I'm doing the exact same thing on this one, but what I had to do to add a resistor here, I upgraded my transistors to a TIP32 that's rated for 100 volts, and then this MJL is one that I just had uh, laying around, and it's rated for high voltage, high amperage as well. And I'm going to show you what kind of results I have now. So there's the little circuit all wired up. It's kind of ugly, but it's functional. And what I'm going to do, I got it set, my power supply set at 30 volts at 2 amps. Um, you're going to see it's not even going to use those 2 amps. It's actually at a quarter amp. So the wattage on this is real low, and it's going to run this big old motor, and it's pretty efficient. Um, just real quick setup here. Originally, uh, it had three wires coming out of it, and what it is is there's three different coils, and they're all the ends are all tied together underneath here. And what I did was disconnect them, and found the input and output of the one coil. I did that for each one of these and so I'm just using two coils and then I'm going to run some other experiments later and see if I can combine all these coils and get more power and more efficiency but that's later so I'm going to power up the supply sometimes it'll run right off the bat other times I have to give it a little kick start but there you have it running pretty quickly some pretty decent volt or resistance torque. Good enough to run a bicycle wheel. Maybe not up a hill real steep, but it's and there you can see how much amperage it's drawing. Not a whole lot. And these little transistors with this with this one resistor in line, these run real cool. Previously I had this resistor off of it and it kept overheating this little transistor so I had to put that in there just to get it to work right without overheating. And so that's just a 1k ohm resistor and then the other one that's coming off is a 10k. So they're identical. There's my 1k and then there's my 10k. Real simple little circuit, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, another thing I want to show you is this will run even at low voltage. If I can get it all the way down to about 12 volts, and it's still ticking. Not very fast, mind you, but that's still the most efficient setup I've had so far to get this motor running. And if I crank it up to about 48 volts, it really flies. That's really going. If I had a tachometer, I would love to be able to test and see how fast it's spinning. 
Like really, really going on. Um, something else I want to show you. Let's see if this helps. This is my flyback. So here's the ground, and here's coming off the little diode. And I'm just running that into my voltmeter. And so you can see about 50 volts average out of 50 volts in. But if I hook up a little capacitor, I'll get the bleeds here. If I hook a capacitor up to this flyback diode, it's going to show you the, the maximum voltage that's coming off of here. And there you go. 346 volts. Take it off, drop it back down, put it back on. 346. And all I did was hook up this little capacitor. Nothing special. Any capacitor over you know, 500 volts will work on here. But there you are. So this has the capability of not only running a three-phase motor at decent speeds, but also can recharge any battery that you hook it up to, as long as it's rechargeable. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. And I'll keep updating you whenever I come up with even more discoveries. Thanks.